Good morning. My name is Kandan Maudgalya. Uh, I'm the PA of this project. I welcome you all to this workshop. I'll briefly tell you how to do this and then we will come back to this later. You see that pre-workshop questionnaire, the very first link in the on the right hand side, pre-workshop questionnaire, where the cursor is. We would want all of you to attempt that. I, we would want all of you to answer that. Okay. Um, so, what I suggest is I also have it here. I have a cheaper computer. Let me see whether I can connect it and give a talk using this. It's the $100 computer. Good morning. Let's get started. Um, so, I'm going to give a talk on how to get the best out of tutorials. Spoken tutorials. We are going to use spoken tutorials. You will see why we should do this. Why we are choosing this method. Why we have chosen this method. Given that we have chosen this method, how to get the best out of it. Uh, the reasons, justifications, the benefits to you and to the whole country. All of that will be explained. Okay. This uh, talk will have two components. One is self-learning through spoken tutorials. What is that? How to do that? The second one, how we will conduct this particular workshop. You have already seen some glimpse of it. For example, we said if you don't have LaTeX, don't come here. So, there are some rules we are going to enforce so that you will get the benefit, best out of these workshops. What is the idea behind spoken tutorials? Okay, what is a spoken tutorial? It's just a screencast. It's just a capture of the screen and conversion in the form of a video. So, that is the screencast. Create a screencast of a live session. We ask an expert to carry out a session, to actually do the thing, record the whole thing. So, there is a software that captures every step. You don't have to write down, I did this, I did this, I did this. This software does that. And when we started this work, we said our method should be useful for the beginners, not for experts. Experts know how to do it. It's a beginner who needs help, right? So, this was the problem statement. What is the solution to this? It should be available. Supposing we design it in such a way that it is also available to people who don't have teachers. We know many people, the problem in India is we have very few good teachers, especially in tier 3, tier 4 colleges, there are no good teachers. There are colleges that don't have any teachers, okay, we have to help them also, okay. So, it should be available also to those who do not have good teachers. So, the solution is we brought in, before a movie is made, a script is made. Similarly, before a spoken tutorial is made, we may write the script and we subject the script through novice check. A beginner has to certify that every step is reproducible by them before it is recorded, before it is recorded. If it does not pass the novice check, we reject that script. Otherwise, our experts ask, what a stupid question, don't you, you don't even know this? We tell them you are fired. Okay, it has to pass the novice check. So, we believe that is important for it to be useful to a beginner. Okay. So, what is the process? We write the script, validate it by a novice and then record it into a spoken tutorial by screencast and this is available for learning. How do you learn? You have to reproduce every step shown in the tutorial. That's all. Very simple. Very simple method. Okay. You listen to a command, pause the video, try it out. If it doesn't work, rewind, listen to it again and try it. It will always work because it is created for self learning if you follow this exactly, whatever the video says, you have to follow it exactly, it will work. 
right? Because it is created for self-learning. We came up with a method called side-by-side -side method. I want all of you to follow it. There are two things on the screen. On the left hand side is the video, says in red. On the right hand side is the software. In your case, you will have the spoken tutorial on LaTeX on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you will open TechWorks. Your screens are all big. Big enough. You don't need to have only one occupying the whole screen. You reserve half the screen for video, half the screen for your software, which is TechWorks in this case. Right? All of you have installed it, right? All of you have seen TechWorks. Shrink it to half the size. Put them side by side. You can do this because TechWorks is open source software. If it is commercial software, you can't do that because you may not have bought it. And I, I cannot ask you to, you know, acquire it somehow, right? Unless it is easily accessible. Our children are not fluent in English. I am telling you the problem that we solved through this method. Our children are not fluent in English because this may be applicable to you. How many of you are not student, not teachers here? How many of you are not teachers here? Okay, maybe about half are teachers. Okay, thank you. So, those of you who are teachers may find that some of your students are not fluent in English. So, what is the solution? We said we will dub them into all 22 languages in the 8th schedule of our constitution. We are doing that in the spoken tutorial project. Okay? But we want English for jobs. Our students don't want to do Devanagari typing because they will get only government jobs. Okay? So we said we will dub only the audio. We will dub only the audio. Okay? Video will be in English. Dub only the audio in 22 languages. It also makes the dubbing easy for us. It is released as open source through our website spoken-tutorial.org. All the things are available through spoken-tutorial.org. Most students don't have computers. So these are all problems that we face in India. Most students don't have computers. How do we access? How do we address this? We came up with $100 laptops. The one I am using right now. But this will take time to reach the colleges. So what is the solution? We said, let us conduct organized workshops through colleges, because colleges have computers. Okay? Doesn't matter if a student doesn't have, college has, college can make available its computer to the students. So we came up with the idea of self-workshops. What is a self-workshop? Spoken tutorial based education and learning through free FOSS study workshop. FOSS stands for free and open source software. Okay, remember that side by side method. That will work only if, if you work with open source software, because it's available free of cost. So, we developed a learning method, active learning method, active learning because you reproduce every step. It's just not passive listening, but you reproduce every step, active learning, right? The best form of learning. And side by side method is possible only if the software is open source. Okay, so we said we will stick to open source software, so that will make it our method accessible to everybody. Most colleges don't have internet access. Colleges have internet access. Even the colleges that have internet access, many cannot give internet access to every computer. I cannot ask all the students here to say, stream it from spokentutorial.org. If 250 people start downloading the video, our Wi-Fi will choke. We are supposed to be the best institution. But we, even we cannot give Wi-Fi to everybody. But realistically speaking, okay, our web, web, our server itself may die if 250 people start streaming simultaneously. Right? So, in any case, giving internet access so that the video will stream in real time in all the machines, in a computer lab, would be difficult even in colleges that have computers. So, what did we do? 
we came up with an offline download application. We came up with an offline download application. I will not talk about it. Those of you who are interested can will. In fact, those of you who are interested in conducting a workshop, I'll I'll point out who will help in your college. But it is through that method we have created the DVD for you. We have created an offline DVD for you so that you can access it. Right? In fact, how to do that? Our people will tell. The instructions are there. So, every college needs only one copy. It can be in the CD, DVD or it is something that through the one connection they have, they downloaded and kept it. Copy that zip file into every machine. Unzip it. You have an index.html. Open that index.html. It will open in web page. Okay? So, we do, we organize these workshops, self-workshops through 2000 colleges. Students use the computers at the colleges because they may not have computers at home. Now, this is getting included in the curriculum itself. What is meant by that? 350 colleges have given slots in the timetable. I teach, this is, this is suitable, Java is suitable for second year physics students. They will do it every Tuesday 2 to 5. They have given timetable slots. Okay, then it becomes very easy. Doesn't matter whether the teacher loses interest, whether the principal gets transferred, doesn't matter. It will continue to happen. Okay. So, self workshops, colleges provide computers, headphones, you need headphones. The software gets loaded. When you go to the computer lab, when the student goes into the computer lab, the software is already loaded. The spoken tutorials are also loaded and the organizer tells the students how to use, like our people are going to tell, tomorrow you can do this and you will be able to tell your students what to do. Okay, you become the organizer. Organizer tells students how to use and the workshop is two hour long. Here a little longer because we wanted to do some extra experiments and also you are coming from, because remember the self workshops happen in the college. You can take an afternoon off or your lab, Java lab is there. I will do Java Spokane tutorial self workshop. Okay. Our workshops are two hours long or during lab sessions and it can be done using, done during lab hours. What happens after self workshops? Copy the video and self learn. Ask questions through our forum. Okay, you, our people will tell you, in fact, forum uh, password is there somewhere. Have they been sent the password? Hmm. You will tell, okay. Our, our people will tell you how to use the forum. Forum is an important one. Um, and they will point out, forum is the one in which you will ask questions. Only thing is, you will ask questions unlike the other forums. Our forums are organized nicely. Right? You can say, I have a question in this tutorial, at this minute, at this second. At this minute, at this second of this tutorial, it says that this will happen, but it is not happening. Please explain. You post that, somebody will answer, that somebody who answers that could be one of you. Somebody who has solved the problem can say, hey, I know the answer. I don't have to wait for the organizer. Right? That's one of the reasons we, are, we have made this Wi-Fi available to everybody. That you shall use forums. Okay? You will see shortly that it is important. You have to use it. Why? I'm going to explain. Okay? Ask questions through our forum. Take online test. We have online test. We give certificates. And free of cost to the students. We have 8.5 lakh students trained in the last 4 years. We expect to train 7 lakh students in this year alone in, through all these colleges. We expect 6 million page views on our website spoken-tutorial.org with 15 minute average visit time and less than 20% bounce rate. These are all very good figures. 
and many of the people who are visiting our website are workshop organizers, college teachers, they are setting up. You can say as a result the effect is 100 times that because every person takes care of 100 students. Feedback of 25,000 participants, quality of instructional material, if it is on the right hand side, tower means it is good, okay. Infrastructure, college organizer, quality of college organizer, ITB, mentor, overall quality of the workshop, they are all good. Remember this is happening in lots of places, 25,000 people have given this feedback. Out of that, 13,000 are boys, males and 12,000 are females. Equal number about. Uh, I think here also there are equal number. Usefulness of the topics, they are good. Will they recommend it to other people? Yes. Okay. So, self-workshops uh, helps everyone. They help females more. Because traditional methods, it turns out that we found that the uh, females actually like self-learning methods more. They are hesitant to ask other people. They actually find this better. Some unexpected benefits, 160,000 students trained in C alone because they will get C jo jobs, IT jobs. If you need to get an IT job, you need to know C. So, learn from here, get a job. And... And interestingly, all of them are using GCC, not Borland C. Corporate recognition, Wipro uses Java spoken tutorials. In fact, they acknowledged officially. Uh, spoken tutorials are one of the approved learning resources at Wipro. Okay. So, those of you who are interested in the Wipro job, if you already know Java through spoken tutorials, they will be happy. Uh, there is also a testimonial from a TCS employee. Um, who got a job as a Linux developer after a three-year BSc in Mumbai University, okay, which is quite unusual, they said. We also got a Google MOOCs award for this under offline category. Remember the offline category that you can create your own image and zip file and then copy it into every machine. Okay, now I will talk about um, our briefly affordable laptops. This is our affordable laptop, the one that I am using. It is a laptop, not a tablet. It has a keyboard, right? It has a keyboard. It has tech works, by the way. Tech is running on this machine. We identified the shortcomings in the Akash and then addressed all of those. The cost is about $100. It has now gone to about 7,000 rupees. Now we are conducting a pilot study to study the efficacy of it. It is actually very good. We got ported several uh, useful software on this. Of course, Python is running in this. Uh, we have uh, educational packages useful for even uh, school students, science students. So this is a well-built system at a low cost, excellent software and e-content. Spoken tutorial runs on this. So, you can actually conduct training programs using this. Many of our CS101, CS101 is the first programming course at IIT Bombay. All BTEC students have to do it compulsorily. About 10% of our students do not have computers. So, we thought it was an unfair competition. We gave it to the students. They used it as a C programming, for C programming, C++, C++ programming. We did this last semester and the faculty member was very happy. Once again, they have requested, please, can you please give it on loan? Okay, we are just trying out this to find out whether it is useful. We believe that it is useful because the second time also the faculty member has requested. We believe that this is something we ought to, every college ought to provide, make it available to their students. Students will not mind paying this. If they are going to get a job after their education as a programmer, they would not mind paying, let's say, 7,000 rupees, right? They would not mind paying for it. Because you know that most colleges, most college students are day scholars and the college bus leaves around 5 o'clock in the evening and they don't get to 
If they don't have computers, they don't program. If they don't program, exam comes, they mug up. They never get to program, they don't get a job. Right? And the IT companies, of course, spend a lot of time in training them. Okay? Assuming that one gets a job somehow. Okay. On the other hand, if the students already know they have a computer, it's like a it's like a workshop in your hand. For a programmer, computer is like the workshop. You can explore, you can open things, try out all kinds of things. Right? Okay. That's briefly about the way we went about using spoken tutorials to spread IT literacy. Some of the tools that we have come up with, you may find this computer to be useful for your college. By the way, this, uh, some of you may have, may want to know how to buy this uh, computer. I can give you the phone number of the person who is doing this later, but it is not available for individual purchase. It's well, only available through institutional purchase. The reason is, supposing some key stops working, camera stops working, who will fix it? If you provide all that help, then the expense becomes high. At this low price, it cannot be given. But if a college says, I'll buy 500 computers, some of it I will use, some of it I'll give it to the students, or two, three colleges will get together, buy it, we will set up a service center. And who, all people who have difficulty will bring it there, get it fixed. And then you can tell the vendor, if you agree to this, then we will buy your computer. Okay? So don't even ask anybody, how do I buy a computer? No need to ask. Individual purchase is not available. Okay? Okay. Now, how, how will this workshop be conducted? I will take five minutes to explain this. This is extremely important. We are going to follow this. I think all our organizers are here. Everybody is here, most of them. Okay, good. I put it in bold so that one slide means only one idea. Spoken tutorials are created for self-learning. Okay? Self-learning means you should learn yourself. Then, all learning should happen only through spoken tutorials. What will this do? This will give you confidence that you can self-learn even after leaving this place. You learn, let's say we have totally some 12 tutorials. You may get to do some 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever. You may not do all of them. Doesn't matter. You will say, hey, I know how to do it. I will do it myself. Not only that, will you, you will say, oh, I can learn Python. I can learn C. I can learn Java. I can learn PHP. Pearl, Ruby, all kinds of things. Everything under sun and moon. Whatever is available on our website, you will say, I can learn myself. But this you can do only if you develop the habit of learning by yourself. As a result, if any one of us starts teaching, you will not develop self-confidence. That is important. If somebody says, hey, don't worry, I will tell you. Then you will go home and say, oh, somebody helped me in IIT, so I did. I actually didn't do it myself. So if somebody teaches you, there is a problem. Okay? You will not develop self-confidence. In fact, teaching by our people will prevent you from self-learning. Okay? Will prevent you from self-learning. They, they will be actually doing damage by teaching. If somebody says, I will help you. Let me say it. Ah, let me start doing. And 10 people are waiting. Okay? Not only will, you, will it slow down, but it will also prevent you from self-learning. So, our staff has been instructed not to teach anything. They shall not teach anything. Okay? In fact, all my staff members should see the next slide. Anyone teaching, found teaching, will lose their job. All our spoken tutorial staff members, anybody attempts to teach, will lose their job. Because you are damaging the process. Our staff members, anybody teaches you, will lose their job. Why? You have to learn by yourself. You have to learn by yourself. Okay? They may point out the mistake you are making. They might say, hey, this video says this, but you are doing something else. So it is not working. 
that's all they can point out at most okay but even that if somebody were to do that 10 other people are waiting it's going to take a long time for you to for that person to come because we have only 10 people and you are 250 people okay what is the solution when they find a mistake they will say the video says this you didn't follow this exactly so what do you have to do oh restart every time you find a mistake restart the video our videos are only 10 minutes our videos are only 10 minutes so you're not going to lose much after a while you will realize let me listen to it carefully and re type it exactly and i'm doing it side by side i can see it type it exactly the same thing it will always work and more importantly you will get answers through the forum a lot more quickly that is why you should say your video says at this minute at this second i should say this should happen but it is not happening what should i do post it somebody will say one of you will say hey i know the answer okay and also and please post only focus questions on forum don't ask things like how do i contact the workshop please don't do that this is to say in this tutorial at this minute at this second i have this question you said something i sh something should happen it's not happening please help don't say things like let's go for a movie no it is not for that okay how do i conduct this workshop how do i buy this computer please don't ask this forum is not for that okay okay this i have already answered and we are going to give hourly prices for best answers and questions we are going to give hourly prices and we are going to give this t-shirt that i am proudly wearing today right and also please give feedback for every uh, nancy gave that link you saw that pre uh, workshop questionnaire similarly after every tutorial is over you will log in and there is an mcq few very small two three questions you will answer them once again for every one of those quiz we are going to give we are going to select some people and give uh, prizes okay so i think i have finished i have said clearly i hope okay, is there any doubt okay so uh, we are funded by the national mission on education through ict mhrd government of india okay i'm going to um, leave at this point one of the things we wanted to do at the beginning when we started this we wanted a method we wanted a method that will work even without iit people i develop a method everybody should call me so i i feel very important i feel very important but i can teach only 10 people if i want to teach 10 lakh people i should develop a method and leave it say let anybody use it anybody use it that is the second thing that we chose you don't need me i am not important you can do it yourself okay so our people are here to enforce discipline make sure everything works okay spoken tutorials are a great learning method if you use them properly okay you can develop self confidence learn other topics by yourself through this method you can train your students and in fact we can make india it literate through this method okay jai hind